Uh, John Sloan backstage at Cage Warriors 98 with Mike Ekendaya who faces Jack Shore at Cage Warriors 100 for the Cage Warriors Bantamweight title. Mike, how did you hear? How, how did you feel when you heard the news that you were going to be fighting for the Cage Warriors Bantamweight title? Super excited, super excited. I felt like I was holding on to like a top secret that I couldn't release to the world once I signed the contract. So I was super excited, smiling from ear to ear. And then, um, yeah, once the fight got announced, it did exactly what I what I foresaw it doing. Like in terms of the media and fire emojis and ah oh, this is what a fight but yeah. yeah man after after all of that after all of that ex little excitement of it getting announced it's just back to work and them fight it's just i'm just looking to make it dominant so all this what a fight that that you'll see i'm not looking to make it a fight i'm looking to make it a dominant display of mixed martial arts so yeah Mm. When you said you were holding on to a top secret, when mm -hmm. did you first hear about the, the, potential, the potentiality of you fighting Jack Shaw? I mean, was that before his fight with Wesley Maya at Cage Warriors 97? Or, or was it just after? Because I believe he fought on the Saturday and the fight was announced the Monday after. Uh, so it all it happened announced, quite quickly. Yeah, it all mm. happened mm. very quick. It was announced on the Thursday after he fought. It was announced on the Thursday after. Um, so when I first heard of it, do you know what... Um, it's more it's more more or less inevitable mm, mm. it's more or less inevitable so that's that i feel like i've put in my my own i've done my work i've mm. done my job in the cage mm. and it's inevitable that things such as this this shot would come mm. um mm. i'm an undefeated fighter amateur pro he's an undefeated fighter amateur pro i fought legitimate contenders so why wouldn't why wouldn't the fight happen i uh, to be honest, I did get a little raw like what's going on here when um, I was seeing Bantamweight's bid for the fight. Yeah. So when I was seeing all of that, I was like, huh, what's going on here? Like, I'm not gonna lie, I thought it uh, is a sure, it's a sure thing. So yeah, I thought it was a sure thing. I'm gonna get this title fight. Okay, let me just chill. I don't need to, I don't need to sell nothing. I don't need to speak. I don't need to be outspoken and say, ah, oh, let me get the shot. Let me get the shot. I, I feel like ah. Uh, at the time, I felt like, ah, oh, yeah, the, the shot's definitely coming my way. But when I was starting to see certain bantamweights bid for it, I was like, okay, um, let, let's step it up now. Let's 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 ask for let's ask, let's ask for the shot. Mm. So it seemed a little bit less like of a sure thing mm. then when I was seeing people bid for it. But um, then I did my own bidding. And then I got it straight after. Yeah, like you mentioned, he's undefeated at amateur and pro mm -hmm. level. So are you. Is there something mm -hmm. quite intriguing about that? Because there's kind of mystique on with both of you of uh, how, does someone, beat, how, how does someone someone's beat this man? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what does that mean to you? Um, it's just, it's, it's just it's is that it exciting? Mm, fights. Well, there was that whole excitement of the um, fight getting announced, but after 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 all of that, I just feel like. It is what it is. I, this is what I signed up for like five to six years ago when I when I started training MMA. So all the rest of it is it just feels normal. It just mm -hmm. feels normal. So there was that excitement of uh, the fight getting announced, but like the excitement of actually fighting, it's just it's just normal now. Like I think at this stage, like the excitement's done is like it's just normal. Yeah. Everything's just just is what it is. It is what I signed up for. Is is exactly that and. I'm going to deliver. Mm. I'm going to deliver. Mm. You train out of Team Titan. You mm -hmm. know, you, you've got lots of talented fighters. So you've got Nathan Grayson, and your own, Nathaniel Wood, mm -hmm. uh, to, to name a couple. Training with these kind of guys and holding your own, does that give you a lot of confidence coming, coming into this fight? Yeah, fights, fights won't be harder. Mm. Fights are not harder than the, the fights that I fight in the gym. So, yeah, it, give, it gives me mass, massive confidence. Like, if you look at my gym, there's a lot of talented fighters in my gym, just in general. Heavyweights, he from heavyweights to flyweights, there's tal talented fighters in my gym just in general. But if you if you now break it down and you look at flyweights to featherweights in my gym, so because these are the guys that I'm going to be doing my rounds with. I'm not going to be doing a round with a heavyweight. But if you look at the um, flyweights to um, featherweights, the guys that I'm actually putting work in, putting work in with. Um, if you look at these guys, um, a lot of us. We're good, we're very good, solid, not even good, we're great MMA fighters in general. But then we all, we all have our own individuality, like we all have diverse skills and we all have um, 
our own diverse thing that we bring to the table to the gym. So I could be fighting a wrestler and there's, there's all, there will be someone for me, basically. So um, I just know that um, training with the guys that I'm training with, I'm not gonna, there's nothing that's gonna s shock me when I'm in the cage because I've been in there with savages. I've been in there with jujitsu black belts. I've been in there with veterans. So there's nothing that's gonna shock me when, when I step in the cage on December 8th or any fight, point blank period, never. I will never get shocked because the guys that I have, have on the mats are solid. Mm -hmm. Well, your records are quite similar, but um, you know, Jim briefly touched on this, but what do you think uh, the kind of caliber of co component of opponent compares between you and Jack and who you fought previously? I think if you look at it, break it down mm -hmm. and really deep it, if you really deep what, what, um, what opponents we fought, in terms of scalps, let's talk about scalps. In terms of scalps, notable wins. Who has the most notable wins? I do. I do. So, yeah, man, that's that's um, that's it's, that's in my favour. Yeah. That's in my favour. I've got. I've definitely hands down got the most notable wins. I've stepped in there against young, hungry MMA fighters, and God willing, um, luckily. Um, I'm blessed to have got my um, hand raised. Mm. Got, blessed to have got my hand raised. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of high profile fighters fighting on this card. You know, it's a monumental card for the Cage Warriors promotion. Have you had any kind of indication of where you'll be on your card? Obviously, Jack Shore, Which, head, oh. uh, Headland at, at 100. Okay, uh, cool. Uh, of where you'll kind of be on the cards. Jack was the main event, obviously, at 97. Uh, mm -hmm. where, where do you think you'll be? And have you Our main event, about that? main event, main event, we're main event, yeah. baby, we're mm -hmm. main event. <laughs> we're main event. Um, I believe, actually, um, my last fight, if it wasn't for the fact, it's, it's only for the fact that me and Ed, we, it wasn't a title fight, why it wasn't a main event so mm. yeah main event man the main event that's 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 a main i'm a main card fighter i'm a main card fighter yeah it's been great to speak to you mate thanks so great much to for speak your time to you. thanks for Cheers. having me thanks for having me